We present this paper to introduce vedolizumab in the treatment of moderate to severe ulcerative colitis. This paper highlights the preclinical development of vedolizumab and details the landmark studies that have led to its approval in the United States. Vedolizumab is manufactured by Takeda Pharmaceuticals and received FDA approval in May of 2014. It is a humanized monoclonal antibody which is gut selective. Its action is to bind to alpha-4 beta-7 molecules, subsequently inhibiting the infiltration of T lymphocytes into inflamed gastrointestinal tissue. The safety and efficacy of vedolizumab in the induction and maintenance of ulcerative colitis was established in the Gemini 1 study. The study was a randomized, double-blinded, placebo-controlled trial, which met primary endpoints of clinical remission and clinical response at weeks 6 and weeks 52. More so, patients in the treatment group with vedolizumab showed more mucosal healing than patients in the placebo group. The added benefit of treatment with vedolizumab is that it is a very well-tolerated medication. Side effects reported were similar to the placebo group. The most common reported symptoms were fatigue and nasopharyngitis. However, there is a theoretical concern of PML, which is a progressive fatal brain infection that has been associated with its parent molecule, natalizumab. However, to date, no reported cases of PML have been associated with treatment of vedolizumab. In conclusion, we feel vedolizumab shows favorable promise in the treatment of moderate to severe ulcerative colitis. As we gain more experience, the inevitable question is its placement in the treatment algorithm of ulcerative colitis. Will it remain a second-line agent once anti-TNF agents have failed, or can it be considered as a first-line therapy in certain circumstances?